I made an impression of the big key in the cake of soap. I carefully sprinkled the plaster into the soap mold I'd made of the key. Well, it had taken a while, but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. A bin stood in the corner. It didn't look like it had been emptied for a while. I wasn't that interested in what might go into a restroom's garbage to investigate. Being in a charming comfort station like this made me think fondly of the toilet in Syria. That place was kept in pretty good order. At least, it had been until I vandalized it. Still, it was all for a good cause. I didn't need to get near to tell the toilet needed cleaning. There was a big old boiler used for heating the building. A huge pile of coal lay in the corner to fuel the boiler. Real high-tech stuff. Capacious as my pockets were, I didn't figure I could cram a shovel in them. I didn't want any coal. The thing felt really hot. Big demands seemed to be being made on it. I turned the heating off. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest. I'm paid to guard this door. The phone can look after itself. Hi, Nico. Josh, what have you discovered? Nothing yet. Nothing? Is, is something wrong? No. Josh, why are you calling me? Oh... No reason. I just wanted to hear your voice. You did? Well, this is my voice saying, don't bother me, I'm busy. Oh. Hey, monsieur, get away from my paint pot. Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. But... Cooler. Hi, Nico, it's me. I'm at the excavation site. Goodbye, George. No, wait a minute. I need your help. What kind of help? I told you I'm busy. This will only take a few minutes, I promise. Okay, what do you want me to do? I want you to keep somebody on the phone for a while. Who? A painter. I need to get at his pot. Oh, okay. Stay on the line. I'll go and get him.
Hi, it's me again. What now? You've got a phone call. For me? Are you certain? It's a woman. She sounded hot. What woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. It wouldn't do to keep the lady from uh, her hunk. The plaster key had soaked up the paint nicely and now looked pretty convincing. Still felt like plaster, though. Well, monsieur, what a strange woman. She was all over me and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? Why, abuse. Ah, well, I have a cigarette to finish. And monsieur, if she calls again, I am not available. A guard stood by a door I guessed led to the excavation. He looked pretty pompous. Well, not so much pretty, just pompous. Hi again. What is it? I need to use the, uh, the toilet again. Again? Already? I have this problem. <laughs> How technical do you want me to get? Hmm, never mind. Here's the key. Hey, smart. Why don't I just tell him that I'm trying to break into the excavation? Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I figured this was better done out of the guard's sight. I figured this was... Quickly and without fuss, I swapped the fake key for the real thing. Uh, no. What is it? I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't notice the substitution. Here's the keys. Uh, thanks. Merci, monsieur. I couldn't get to the door while the guard was there. Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. What do you want this time? What did you say to the painter? I shan't repeat it, George. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Could you call back and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call back soon. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. Hey, you! It's the phone! Yeah? Who is it? How should I know? What am I? Your social secretary? It's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are you going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on. I'm not talking to her. I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to...